Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how to enable BitLocker encryption in Windows 10. BitLocker and BitLocker to go is a great security feature in Windows 10 operating system which provides a full row encryption for fix and remove it row, respectively providing a protection for your data even when the drive is removed and accessed from the elsewhere. BitLocker uses the TPM to help protect the Windows operating system and user data and helps to ensure that the computer is not tampered with even if it is left unattended, lost or stolen. A TPM is a microchip that is uh, built into your computer. It is used to store cryptographic information such as the uh, encryption key. Let's check on our this Windows 10 VM. Uh, let's click on turn on BitLocker. So this machine does not have a TPM module. So we have to use BitLocker without a TPM module. So to use a BitLocker on a computer without a TPM module, you must change the default behavior of the BitLocker setup wizard by using a group policy. So first of all, let's configure the group policy to use BitLocker feature on this computer without a TPM. Click on cancel, go to run and type gpedit.msc. This will open group policy management editor console and uh, let's expand. Okay, under computer configuration, expand administrator templates. Under administrator templates, you have to expand Windows component and under Windows component, just click on BitLocker Drive Encryption and under BitLocker Drive Encryption, click on Operating System Drives. On the right hand side, click on Require Additional Authentication at Startup, right click on it and select Edit. Now here, select Enable. Do not forget to select this checkbox. By default, it is selected. Allow BitLocker without a compatible TPM. It required a password or a startup key on a USB flash drive. Click on apply. Click on OK. Now this policy is enabled. Click on close this uh, group policy management console and let's once run the gp update command to update the group policy. Okay, so now the policy is updated uh, successfully. Click on close to close the command prompt. And now on the file explorer, right click on a C drive, select turn on BitLocker. In BitLocker Setup Wizard, when prompt to choose how to unlock your drive at a startup, you can select insert a USB flash drive, but for this demonstration, I'm going to use enter a password. Let's specify the password. Make sure you specify a strong password that use uppercase and lowercase letters, numbers, symbols and space. Click on next. Now you have to choose how you want to back up your recovery key and you can save it to Microsoft account. You can save it to a USB flash drive. You can save it to a particular file and, and you can uh, print the recovery key right now. But for this demonstration, I'm going to save to a file and let's save on uh, our uh, E drive. See, this is only for video demonstration. Otherwise you have to save on your USB flash drive or you can print it somewhere else. So no one can see your recovery key. That's recovery key and click on save. Do you want to save the recovery key on this PC? It's a good idea to have more than one recovery key and keep each in a safe place other than your PC. Click on yes and click on next. Now here we have to choose how much of your drive to encrypt. First is encrypt to use disk space only, faster and best for new PCs and drives. And second, we have an encryption options to encrypt entire drive slower but the best for PCs and drives which are already in a use. So generally I recommend the second options. You have to select the second options to encrypt entire drive. But for this demonstration, we are going to select the first box. Click on next. And here we have a run BitLocker system check options is selected. That means the system will check that BitLocker can read the recovery and encryption key correctly before encrypting the drive. Okay, so click on continue. And here we have a notification. The computer must be restart. Manage BitLocker. And under control panel, under system and security, under BitLocker drive encryption, here it is indicating that you, we have to restart the computer. Click on close and let's restart now. Upon restart, new BitLocker screen will appear prompting to enter a password. Tap the password to unlock the drive. Okay and press enter to continue. 
and here we go. Okay, let's log into our system. Upon first start, beat lockers, encrypt the drive. This may take a while. Once it's complete, then the system volume is encrypted and ready for use. Click on this PC, and as you are seeing, we have a lock. Click on start button, then select control panel. In control panel, select system and security, and then select manage beat locker. As you are seeing, it is indicating on a C drive, beat locker start encrypting the system drive. So from here, you can uh, back up your recovery key, you can change a password, you can remove a password, and you can turn off the beat locker. So this uh, encryption process will take some time to complete, and once the process is complete, then you are ready to go. Okay, so now the encryption is completed successfully and uh, our system volume is completely encrypted. Your system is ready for use. So that's it for this video demonstrations. Thanks for watching this video.